Hey everyone, my name is Drew Van Huss and it is March 23rd, 2020. For those of you that don't know me, I teach social studies and history classes at Station Camp High School in Gallatin, Tennessee. Today should have been our first day back from spring break, but instead I'm at home like many other people, um, adhering to the Safer at Home declarations that have been put into effect. Now this past month, it's uh, obviously one that's going to be highlighted in future history textbooks. And I've already tried to think about what's going to happen on the other end of this thing. Now, I don't know exactly how long it'll take, but I think life will go back to normal. And I will hopefully have students in the future that may not remember these days. And I've already tried to think about how am I going to teach this to them? So I reached out to my former students, young adults that have been members of my classes over the last 10 years. And I asked them to tell me how the coronavirus pandemic has affected them. I asked them to tell me what had scared them the most about the situation. And I asked them to tell me something positive that had come out of it. Here's what they had to say. All right, so coronavirus 2020 has just honestly been crazy. Um, I work at a church for a college ministry and we've had to cancel everything. Everything that we've planned for months and months and months has had to end. We can't have services. We can't have big gatherings. So that completely changes work. It completely changes all the plans that we've had in place and all the things that make up our normal everyday lives have had to change. We can't even buy toilet paper at the grocery store. It's insane. Post per se, I'm out here in my do-rag and my t-shirt. Everybody's in the house just chilling. It's all we're forced to do. I want to shout out Mr. Van Hus for always finding creative and innovative ways to connect with his students and keep us connected and also share things that were going on individually. Um, from a historical standpoint, we're definitely living in unprecedented times. There's never been a time in our history where all sports have been canceled. Um, people are being laid off um, almost in groups of the hundreds and thousands almost every day. Um, it really puts things in perspective, um, even if you have your own conspiracy theories about it or just what you believe is really going on. The fact that all of these things are kind of happening sequentially, um, it should really show us that it's something serious going on. So. And we are currently sitting in the Orlando airport on the floor at our gate. Um, we are coming back from our spring break trip to Universal Studios. Uh, we were supposed to stay until Friday. It is Tuesday and we decided to come back early in case domestic flights were canceled and the interstate travel ban was put into effect. The parks were canceled. like two days after we got here yeah we got here friday it's march 17th 2020 and i'm on my way home from work for the last time in who knows how long i've been exposed to a couple people that might have coronavirus they're getting tested for it right now uh so i'm gonna self-isolate for a couple weeks just so i don't spread it to anybody else if i do have it i don't think it's really too much to be worried about but it has raised a lot of concerns and um a lot of things are going wild right now it's crazy there's no food in the grocery stores you know everything is shutting down my college school you know everything's online today is march 18th 2020 and i was just informed that my work will be shutting down due to the coronavirus um it's a scary time you know i'm i'm gonna have to figure out how to pay bills and all that stuff um and it's scary because Especially for someone like me, I have asthma. Um, I am at a higher risk of uh, the coronavirus. So I have to be extra careful just being out in public. Um, I don't really leave the house all that much. But and Currently, I am a graduate student at MTSU, but my program has kind of been put on hold for the foreseeable future. Like every other student at MTSU and other universities, I went from being on spring break to finding out that the rest of my classes for the semester are going to be conducted online. I no longer have access to a lot of the materials I need to do my research. I no longer have access to a lot of other valuable on-campus resources that I would otherwise be using. And the coronavirus for us has been uh, not a huge change, but we are not supposed to leave our house right now. Um, we're here. <clears throat> in Knoxville and we're on a self quarantine. So we're supposed to stay at home. We're not supposed to go out to eat. We're not supposed to really leave the house much at all. It's currently March 20th, 2020 in the 
mayor of my town just shut down all sit-down dining, which means I just lost my job because of the coronavirus. Um, it's not the first thing that the coronavirus has taken away from me. It's actually probably the last thing the coronavirus is going to take away from me for a while, considering I'm going to be stuck in this room for probably about two more weeks. Thank you. Um, well, I'm a high school teacher now, just like you, and in Knox County, um, our spring break was originally supposed to be like March 14th through March 22nd, and that's like the Saturday through the Sunday. Um, they closed school a day early on Friday, and then um, they extended spring break by two weeks. So we've got three total weeks off. Um, What's going on? It's March 20th, 2020, and the coronavirus is here in Middle Tennessee. In my life, uh, the coronavirus has already started to play a bit of a role. I had a gig with my band scheduled in the next few weeks at a banquet, and that has since been called off because the banquet is a no-go. Um, it is March 18th, 2020, and I go to Middle Tennessee State University, and as of last week, all on-campus classes have been moved to online courses for the remainder of the semester. Well, it has been quite a week here in Hendersonville, Tennessee, and really over all over the U.S. Uh, with COVID-19 uh, really spreading quickly this week. Um, this week, a lot of uh, businesses were told to close. Uh, mine is staying open for the time being. We're a manufacturing plant, um, but we've taken many safety measures. Um, we're quarantining buildings, so um, we're wiping down equipment. Uh, we're making sure things are clean. Um, um, the, this whole like pandemic has kind of just uh, wrecked everything. <laughs> um, so I'm in college and we got our spring break extended an extra week and then we got an email yesterday morning about how we're going completely online so no one is allowed on campus except for staff which is so crazy to me um i'm a second year medical student and it is march 22nd 2020. this pandemic's affected me in many ways one of them is that our school is closed until further notice so we are doing lectures online our tests are online our student patients are even online. We basically get on a video conference and discuss possible cases instead of doing in person like we usually do. A lot of my fraternity events have gotten canceled. Uh, work is crazy right now, everybody's calling out. And I think overall, I just kind of remember how scared people are and how quickly we've had to adapt to this new life. And Questions. it has affected me greatly, I would say. I'm in nursing school, so we have successfully transfer transitioned from in class lectures to online lectures. It's been a little challenging starting online clinical simulations, but I think it'll be a good thing because we need to protect each other and I'm more than happy to stay home. Nice. Uh, I'm a freshman at Pellissippi Community College up in Knoxville and the only way it's affected me is it's moved all my classes online and I don't know if I'm staying home for the semester, if I get to go back, so it's all up in the air. And then a lot more has happened for her. Yeah, so I am a second year senior at WKU in Bowling Green, and my graduation was canceled. I'm student teaching currently, not so much anymore. It's still up in the air. We don't really know what we're doing about that. Um, I'm supposed to get married this summer. That's still up in the air. We don't know if that will be happening the way The we wedding, want it. not the marriage. <laughs> Yeah, thanks for the <laughs> you all. Yeah, um, I uh, just recently graduated in December from WKU Western Kentucky University. I still work on campus. I work at the campus bookstore. So the fact that we have still been open is a little strange, but I feel like it's a matter of time until we have to be closed down for a little bit. Um, but basically this coronavirus has really like shut a lot of things down. It's moved my Vol State classes online. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to walk this spring for graduation. Um, Kaylee might not have a prom. Yeah, we might have, not have a prom. Um, and we don't go back to school until April 1st, and it is March 17th. So there's a lot of stuff that's up in the air. We don't really know what's going to happen. Um, 
And the biggest fear is honestly just the unknown. Since nobody has navigated this before, it's scary because we don't know what the steps are to take to make this uh, go away, to make our country safe. Due to the coronavirus, all toilet paper is gone. Yeah, yeah. Never thought in my life that I'd be living in a toilet paper shortage, but, you know, anything is possible. You go into the store and um, there's no toilet paper. The water's very low. Um, canned foods, pastas, hand sanitizer, soaps. Have fun finding those because you can't really get those anywhere since everyone's in self-isolation. Um, I work in the housing industry, so I do land development and the way that it's impacted my job and kind of the financial <clears throat> setup of where I'm at is that um, we are not supposed to build really any more houses for a short period of time uh, just because people aren't buying houses right now. Um, we are, though, I'm in land development and we are, though, actively uh, and pretty aggressively trying to buy people's property and buy land uh, to build houses on in the future because now is the time that people want to sell their land and things like that. But um, all of my meetings are on Zoom or, um, well, I guess Zoom's a big one, but we really aren't supposed to do much more than that. Um, online um i've gotten to stay in bed a lot more and sleep a lot more because of it i mean i'm in bed right now but our lewis capaldi and the horn <laughs> tickets might not be happening anymore yeah there's a lot of concerts that have been postponed and things like that so i know just... a lot of friends got their sports canceled we're scared of like not getting the supplies that we need because right now toilet paper is non-existent yeah <laughs> and right now like right right now we're scared we might not be able to make it home and if something happens on the plane or if we get held at the airport or there's just a bunch of stuff of course <laughs> we might not be able to do um, um i had to cancel my keys trip tomorrow i was going to go down to florida with some buddies and go deep sea fishing so that's a bummer but we can reschedule um I think the thing I'm most afraid of right now is uh, the effect that this is going to have on small businesses like my dad's. Uh, he owns a small business in Gallatin. So um, if we have to quarantine or if we have to go into lockdown, we're not going to be able to ship anything out. And that's that's a source of our income. So we don't know what's going to happen. Um, uh, in my life, I, I'm a little bit scared of being around my grandparents. I have grandparents that are 86 and 88, and I'd hate to bring any harm to them. And so it really does make me cautious. Uh, I don't really want to get around them, um, but I don't know when I'll be able to get over this fear. And it'll definitely take some time to figure that out. At first, it started off with all of the concerts I had planned for the upcoming months getting canceled. And then my summer classes got canceled. But, um, yeah, it's just, it's been absolutely insane. Um, craziest thing I've ever seen, and it's crazy to think that it'll go down in history and I've been a part of it, but. One of the things that I am most fearful for during this pandemic is that people will not play the part that they're capable to play, and that's social isolation. And that it's gonna put our healthcare professionals in a position where they're having to practice medicine in a way where they're taking into consideration expected life years, pre-existing conditions, survival percentages, into who can and cannot get treatment or resources like ventilators instead of just being able to treat and care for everyone that walks in the door that needs it because our healthcare professionals and resources are limited and thinking from a medical professional side it's scary that our resources are becoming more and more scarce that the cdc is recommending the use of bandanas and scarves as masks for our physicians, for our PA assistants, for our NPs, for our restorative therapists, because we don't have enough. Um, so it's scary. It's scary for everybody. Everything with the church um, has just kind of been chaotic. So we are going completely online. Um, because they have told us that you can only have 10 people or less whenever you gather together. And so that's difficult, <laughs> um, whenever you want to have a church gathering. And so this Sunday, it'll just be the band and the production team and our pastor. And that's going to be well over 10 people. But, um, 
you know, it's just crazy that we're having to completely adjust the way we do things. Um, we're going to start pre-recording, um, like sermons and videos and things like that. So that way we can still do church, um, but do it in a safe way. And it's just so crazy that all, everyone was just kind of like skeptical at first. And now we're having to completely adjust everything that we're doing. It's insane. Um, so I think that's like the scariest thing. It's, it's been stressful, honestly. But yeah, um, I went to the beach for spring break and I know Van Huss was asking me how that went during the whole outbreak. Personally for me, no one was on my beach, but other beaches were shut down. So while I was leaving, everyone was heading towards Panama City Beach. And now we're on day three of quarantine. So it's going great. <laughs> Yeah, um, she hates it. <laughs> she's going stir crazy. Yeah, uh, I don't really fear much during this outbreak besides that we really the only thing we're not so much worried about ourselves. We are worried about our brother because he is immunocompromised you know, and our grandma. Yeah, just everyone it's, that's I think the main thing to keep in mind is that this isn't about us. It's about the people who if they were to get sick, they maybe wouldn't make it through or they would have to be hospitalized. Mm -hmm. So I think that's the main concern right now is just thinking about other people. Yeah. And I can't leave the state. I can't travel. It's not safe to not be social distancing yourselves from others. And it's crazy. My biggest fear during all of this would be starting my nursing career at the beginning of a pandemic. And then also my immunocompromised father contracting COVID-19, which is just another reason why I'm just happy to stay home since I have the opportunity. Um, but you know, there's been a lot of good coming out of this. A lot of people are rallying together. A lot of thing, positive things on social media have been coming out, so. The country is actually getting together and trying to figure stuff out together. There'll be a spring break trip to remember. Yeah. That's for sure. <laughs> um, Fast and Furious 9 was supposed to come out in April. It won't come out until next year. Um, James Bond has been delayed. Um, the newest Marvel movie, Black Widow, um, is supposed to be coming out May 1st, but um, as of yesterday, they officially announced that that was going to be delayed also, and I know Mr. Van Hus is very torn up about that one. That one got me too. Safe, But honestly, the biggest blessing that's come from this is it reminds us of all the things that we feel our every day with that we don't actually need. It reminds us the things that are actually important and all the other things that are just busyness that um, so invade our everyday lives. So there's a lot of fear and unknown, but there's honestly just a lot of good that can come and hopefully our country just continues to be unified in this unknown season. I believe in a lot of conspiracy theories, so I'm just hoping this isn't bigger than, you know, the government's letting us in on. Uh, also the stock market, I've lost a lot of money, so trying to gain all that back. But I think my biggest fear, honestly, is like the stock market and the things it's doing to our economy. Um, I signed on a house like two months ago. It's a new construction. Um, and so our closing won't be until the house is built in August. And I'm really worried about how that will affect interest rates. Um, I'm worried about like if they do end up calling out school for the rest of the year, which I don't know if they are, but if they do, like, will we continue to be paid? Um, I also know that last Monday and Tuesday, like the 8th and 9th or something like that, um, my IRA, which was sitting at around 34000 dropped to about $27,000. Um, and that's really scary. And I haven't looked at it since then because the stock market has only continued to plummet. I've been doing a lot of sleeping, a lot of hanging out in my robe, <laughs> um, laundry, cleaning a lot. My birthday is actually in three days. Today is March 21st and my birthday is March 25th. I'll be 22. It's gonna be very interesting having to not celebrate my birthday, I guess. Um, obviously I can still celebrate. I'll probably do something with my roommates. We'll make dinner, um, watch a movie and play games. Other than that, you know, I would be planning on going out to eat with my family or getting drinks with my friends or something. So I think that the worst part of this situation for everybody has been the unknown of it all. We don't know when this is going to end. We don't know when people are going to get better. And we don't know when we can return to a relatively normal pace of life. So I think that the only thing we can do right now is just wait and 
try to not think about the bad parts and try to be patient as doctors and nurses and other officials work to turn this around. But it's nice because I get to spend time with uh, my soon-to-be fiance and our little puppy that we just got. But, um, but um, you know, on another score, we're all thinking about our loved ones, especially our older loved ones uh, for my family. Um, we're particularly thinking about my uh, Mimi, my grandmother. Uh, she is um, 83 and um, has a lot of lung problems already. Um, she lives in a very rural area, and so we're trying to figure out how to give her supplies. But, also um, but on the bright side, there is um, a lot of time for me to spend with my wife and my family. Uh, so that's been a blessing, and uh, it's going to be a good time to invest in them. And I just enjoy like getting to spend some time at home with my boyfriend, with my dog, um, and just relax and maybe get caught up on some stuff that I had been neglecting because of the stress of school and work. So there <laughs> is my... Due to the coronavirus, basically 2020 is just canceled. So. There is one positive coming out of it though. It's given me a lot of time for self-reflection, uh, a lot of time to appreciate the society that we normally live in and for the, the stability of normal life. Uh, all in all, I think the coronavirus will um, be on its way in the next few months, but until then, and Keep even though there's a lot of bad going around, there's also good. Like, I get to spend time with my sister and her, her puppy, dog, oh. <laughs> uh, Remy. And I get to bother my parents again. So it's like high school all over. And, you know, neighborhoods are just coming together as one. Yes. Uh, what's something positive that has come from this? C coronavirus quarantine thing, uh, less stress. So right now uh, I'm doing writing a thesis on economic policy and I was supposed to present it at a conference in April and now I can't do that. So now I'll have a little bit more time to work on my thesis and kind of get everything prepared for when I defend it in the fall. Uh, also le just general leadership skills, you know, trying to plan fraternity stuff and, and communicate with people uh, when we're not physically at school. I so, am yeah. working from home now for the foreseeable future, but I just have to count myself lucky and stay home and stay safe and I encourage others to do the same if they can. One good thing that's coming out of this is that I've been able to have complete control of my schedule. So I wake up, I study from eight to six, then I can do yoga, I can eat really good. I've been making a lot of seared steak. And But my professors have emailed all of us multiple times saying, how well we've transitioned and how we just keep going and that's proof that we will be excellent nurses someday. So I would say that's something positive is you really find out how much you can persevere when something like You know, a lot of things are up in the air. The global economy, a lot of jobs. I have a lot of friends who've been laid off and and, and don't know how to make, make rent. So we're waiting on a stimulus check. Um, and it's, it's a stressful time for a lot of people and a lot of uncertainty. But the one good thing that has come out of it um, has been able to reconnect with people. Um, I've found myself reconnecting with a lot of uh, friends from college and even family members that I haven't talked to in a while, you know, checking up and then regularly checking in. Um, so, you know, there's a little sense of community, even though we can't really see each other. We have gone to the grocery store, but outside of that, I mean, we're just, we're going to hang out and try to get through it, so. So much of my life is so go, 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 go. So many to-do lists, so many things to read, so many videos to watch, so many things to study for, that it's been like a breath of fresh air to slow down and to stop. And it's really instilling the value of stillness in me. And I'm thankful for that. And I'm thankful for a lot of the time that I've had to be at home with my puppy instead of mandatory classes. And she's very happy about that too. So these are days I just hang out with my dog and I do a lot of studying. So I want everybody to continue to stay safe, keep your head up. I know there's only so much book reading you can do. There's only so much Madden and 2K you can play. I'm speaking for myself. Um, there's only so much writing you can do. Um, so everybody try not to go crazy. Don't get too much cabin fever. 
be safe, um, hold on to you and your loved ones, and we'll make it through this one day at a time. It might be a few weeks, might be a few months, um, but one thing I know about America, you know, to get all historical, we always find a way to make it out of things. So I definitely believe we'll all be okay, and I love you all, and I'm praying for all of you guys' safety. Okay, that's it. Okay. I already sent you the other bird video if you want to put that in there. Bird video? I'll show you <laughs> Bye. So much has happened. A bird almost pooped on me. It, the same bird disrupted my last video when I was on a roll. If you can cut this all out. That bird, I, I know you saw that. I know you saw it. I know you did. So I really hope that the uh, curve will flatten soon. If that hasn't been explained to you yet, then I'm sure it will, but um, yeah, thank you guys for um, being awesome students. I know Mr. Van Hus is an amazing teacher and he definitely impacted my high school experience. So um, it's really cool that you have a teacher that people will come together and do this type of thing for. So thank you. So yeah, there's my video. Everybody stay safe. Well, we'll get through it one way or another. So see you guys on the other side. I know everything's gonna be all right. It's just scary, you know? So I hope this video finds you well and stay in school. <laughs> For me, I'm thankful that I've gotten to spend more time with my wife and my son and my daughter. And one other good thing that came out of this bad situation is gave me a chance to catch up with some of my former kids. So y'all stay safe, you stay healthy, be good to each other out there.